First of all, congrats to the late, great, my greatest, third greatest player of all time, Kobe Bryant, on his Hall of Fame induction. Unbelievable. If there's one player, though, in today's NBA that epitomizes that Mamba mentality, it's Russell Westbrook. Heart defines Russell Westbrook. And it's time for all the media that's called him a bad teammate or just crucified him over his shot or inefficiency or any of the other nonsense to acknowledge the simple truth that they were wrong the entire time. That Russ is an unbelievable teammate, an unbelievable leader, probably the hardest playing basketball player of all time. Let's dive into the film. Scout with Brian here. Make sure you subscribe, thumb up, hit notifications so you can see more videos like this. Let's dive into yesterday's game footage against Charlotte as the Wizards unbelievably come back from big deficits really all game long to battle and battle and that is what Russell Westbrook does a sequence that could have been basically disastrous here as Ishmith throws the ball away and the Wizards are already down 16 near the end of the first quarter Russell Westbrook never gonna quit on a play he's staying in it attacking these are momentum changing plays and they are massive plays again down 16 at the end of the quarter doesn't matter that he's the inbounder Okay, he never stops playing. That's the simplest way to describe Russell Westbrook. He sees Gafford miss a little jump hook, so he's jumping after this from the inbound position, keeping it alive, giving up his body so that Daniel Gafford can end up dunking that ball. It's a huge, huge bucket, and it's, again, a little thing that I don't even think really shows up in the stat sheet, period. Of course, the rebounds do, and people even somehow find a way to give him a hard time. 23 points, 15 rebounds, 10 assists he finishes with. Here's another little thing, though, that doesn't even show up. Good X out by the Wizards. Good job flying around. But look at Russell Westbrook. He's the one guarding Rozier in this corner. And if he just stays here, if he guards Terry Rozier, if he just protects the basket, you know what happens right here? Despite this wild play, Devontae Graham is going to end up throwing this up, and it goes in. But you know what? It's too late because Russell Westbrook never stops playing. And again, he sees this deflected ball. He stays in the mix. He goes after it, gets a hand on it, forcing Graham to get that shot up. After the shot clock expires, no basket. Leadership, we talked about Daniel Gafford. Yeah, he deserves some credit for you know, playing better with the Wizards, playing really well with the Wizards. But you know who deserves a hell of a lot of credit? Russell Westbrook for putting him in these situations all the time to get lobs, to get dives. Look at him, always staying on him. Come on, come on, what are we doing? Come on, you can finish that still. Constant talk, constant leadership. I mean, look at this. Just first of all, great playmaking to attack the paint. Put the Hornets in long closeouts here as Bertans makes the extra pass to Ish. And then going underneath, working underneath in that dunker spot. And if you think that's an easy finish for a guard, right-handed guard, to go up with a quick little left-handed hook, no backboard, that's a tough finish. He doesn't get credit for those. Yeah, he's not an amazing shooter. He's not an amazing three-point shooter. But all these different types of finishes, all these different footwork things around the basket, things that require a hell of a lot of work, a hell of a lot of refinement. And we don't realize that just because, oh, it's not a three-point shot. How about this, too? My God. Few guys in the league that can close out with as much urgency as Russell Westbrook. little ghost screen action here. As Graham slips out of the high ball screen, he would have a wide open three. If not for Russ quickly recognizing that he slipped out of it, sprinting, short choppy steps, phenomenal closeout. That's like coach's porn right there. Unbelievable. Look at that closeout. That's big time. Rather McDaniel shoot than Graham. And on top of that, again, always has a nose for the ball. Always goes after the rebound. And you know what? He's going to get two free throws out of it at the end of the half. Huge. Remember this shot because it's going to come into play later. Everybody, of course, crucifies him. Shot selection, mid-range, inefficient, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know what? Sometimes you need to be able to make a mid-range pull-up. It's a big shot. It's an uh, important shot to have in your arsenal. Here's the leadership. Look at him again on the bench. Just during a timeout, always waving and 
talking and coaching and teaching nonstop, just staying on his teammates. And he could do that because he does it himself, because he is accountable, because he does not ever stop on a play. Even though LaMelo Ball drove this a little bit and dished it out, a lot of point guards just kind of stop and watch. Russ goes after the ball, gets a little forearm into LaMelo's back, rides him and goes up and gets it. We saw that slip earlier. How about the same action here? My God, talk about being locked in defensively again. Does this show up in the stat sheet? Nope, but it's a difference between a P.J. Washington wide open three and Russ recognizing unbelievably quickly, switching just like that and forcing Washington to shuffle his feet for a travel. Hugely important play. Of course, is also the... NBA assist leader this season. Not enough people want to talk about that for some reason, but tremendous feel for the game. And then, of course, he misses this shot. He misses other shots like this. You know, we'll never hear the end of it, but the times he makes them, crickets. You don't hear a peep. Down 13, end of the third quarter. It's a massive shot. What would you rather have, Ben Simmons, deathly afraid to ever shoot the ball, or Russell Westbrook? Yeah, he's going to miss a lot. He's going to take a lot. But you know what? He's not afraid. Call that heart if you want. Call it courage. Robin Lopez, Bradley Beal, both deserve a hell of a lot of credit for their fight in this game. Going to do some video on them too. So, again, make sure you subscribe. But Bradley Beal... Fighting despite the hamstring injury. Robin Lopez was massive. But again, Russell Westbrook made that shot earlier, so now you got to at least close out to him. Footwork. Different types of finishing. Left hand. That's a tough, tough finish in tight traffic. It's important. It's not easy. Pace, constant pace, got caught in the air a little bit here, but good job at least being able to find Ish Smith at the last second. Ish misses the three, but look at Russ again. Does he ever stop? Nope. Yeah, give Miles a little shove so I can get that loose ball right here, and then two free throws out of it. Ish was pretty damn great in this game too, but yeah, here's the one that, oh, he airballed this one, so Wizards end up losing this game. You know, again, how many times we'll be seeing that shot with all the memes, all the shit talking. Anybody going to show you this play? Down four, nine minutes left. Denying in the corner when he picks up his dribble. Taking away the back cut. Getting back out to deny the corner. And then... Pace. Five seconds off the shot clock. Unbelievable. It never stops. Never stops. Look at that. How important is winning to you? How much how bad do you want it? Yeah, his job's to be in the paint here. Help on Lamello. You know how many guys basically just stand and watch PJ Washington shoot this? That's an unbelievable closeout from the distance. Sorry, an unbelievable contest from the distance he is away. To be able to contest a shot like that, that's a difference between making and missing shots. It's huge. Makes an impact. I showed you that mid-range pull-up earlier, right? So now, you know what? Now his defender's got to get up on him a little more aggressively. You can't let him get back into his rhythm jumper. All right, so now he's driving it. Now he's getting into the free throw line. Twelve free throw attempts on the night. Robin Lopez... Cooking in the post. So Cody Zeller was so worried about that entry pass. He's just taking, trying to take that away. We'll live with Russ shooting. Well, you know what? Again, unlike Ben, he's got the ability to punish you every once in a while. And he hears you talking all that shit. You got something to say? Huh? You said something? What was that? Killer. Again, the impact, right? Made two threes down the stretch in this game. 
So again, now we can't just watch him shoot another one right here. We got to get a hand up. So they go for the high shot fake. Now he drives it. Playmaking for Robin Lopez. This is probably the best clip on this one. I want you to really pay attention to this one. Watch Robin Lopez. He's trying to ice this pick and roll, but he gets totally beat by Terry Rozier. Goes around him and has a layup, really. But look at Russell Westbrook from the weak side corner coming all the way over to challenge that shot at the rim. And then on top of that, as they get the offensive rebound three, look at Russ totally give up his body. How many superstars in the league do this? Just so Rui Hachimura ultimately can come up with this rebound. And I'm not saying he planned it all out that way, but I'm saying this is an out-of-area, long-ass rebound. You think he just gets the easy ones on free throws or anything like that? No, he's going after this ball 10 feet away from him. And you know what? He ends up <laughs> taking out Miles Bridges just kind of, you know, by being in the right spot. And that allows Rui Hachimura to get this rebound. Unbelievable effort. And then you see what he means to his teammates. Get him up. Make sure he's coming with you past half court. Teammates love the dude, period. All there is to say. Again, saw him making the mid-range, pressing up on him a little bit. Can't back off all the way. Now he draws some help in, helping off Ish Smith, creates a long closeout. Ish is able to get to that runner. He was massive again down the stretch for the Wizards. Finally, game ended up being 115-110. The Wizards did it with defense down the stretch. Again, Robin Lopez trying to contest the shot at the rim. So Cody Zeller is pretty much unprotected for a putback, if not for Russell Westbrook coming in from the corner. Look at that athleticism. Look at slapping that ball with two hands. Look at just going up. Who wants it more? Going up and getting it. Mamba mentality. Thanks for watching again. Make sure you thumb up, subscribe. Scout with Brian, Instagram, YouTube channel. A lot more coming soon.